Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Wednesday, January 6th. Today's Gospel passage for the Daily Mass comes to us from the fourth chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read, and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, and to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Is he not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself. And say, Do here in your native place the things we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread through over over the entire land. It was none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Seraphat in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. Every time I pray with this particular passage from St. Luke's Gospel, I seem to ask myself the same question. Would I have joined the people of Nazareth in their rejection of Jesus? Or would I have been one of the few that would have accepted him as the Messiah who was fulfilling what was said through the prophets? And to be truthful, I don't know how I would have responded. I would like to think I have not fallen into a position of unbelief like the people of Nazareth. Because it's clear from the passage that the people of Jesus' hometown had familiarity with Jesus and his family. So this familiarity blinded them from seeing Jesus as who he truly was. The Messiah, the Christ, the Anointed One. And we know how this can happen. Because we've seen it in our own lives. When something becomes familiar, we sometimes take it for granted. Or on the other hand, when something's familiar, we don't understand its value until it's gone. And I think we've learned a lot about this reality since the beginning of COVID-19. Because for the last couple years, we took many things for granted prior to COVID-19. And during this pandemic, we've seen their value. We understand their importance. And furthermore, I would say in my own life as well, There was lots of things I was doing prior to the pandemic that I have not picked back up. They're not important. They're not essential. So I think the challenge of our lives always is that we need to make sure that each and every day we're not letting routine, familiarity, or any other reality blind us to the truth that Christ is present in our lives each and every day. And that each and every day is an opportunity to discern his will, to follow him, and to ensure that we are not pushing him away, working against him, or rejecting his invitation to love. But that each day is truly an opportunity to grow in love, to grow in discipleship, and to truly serve him more fully. So in this new year, Let us not let familiarity blind us to the truth of what is happening in our lives. And let us make sure that we're always focusing on Jesus Christ 
and letting his love and mercy guide us so that we can do his will in all things. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Thank you.